Good morning. It's Thursday, the 9th of April. It's Monday, Thursday. Welcome to morning prayer. It's good to have you with me. My name is the Reverend Paul Lavender. I'm the senior pastor at Mount Pleasant Baptist Church in Northampton. It's a slightly uh, grey and misty day here starting today. And I trust that where you are, you're safe, you're fit, you're well, and you're with and all surrounded by people who you love. Today we're moving into the heart of the Easter journey and as we begin that uh, that journey towards Good Friday and Easter a day, a day of resurrection, it's good to pause, it's good to reflect and to remember uh, the reason above all why Christ died for our sins. Two things just to say that today there will be at 12 noon a devotional online, just a brief thought and reflection. Then at 7pm this evening there will be a brief uh, Monday Thursday service which will include communion and then nine o'clock prayer tonight. And in addition tomorrow to the prayers at nine and the devotional at uh, 12 noon at 3 p.m. in the afternoon. There will be a service at the foot of the cross which will include some music, it will include some readings and prayers and you're welcome to join for that if you're able. That will be a live stream service which I'll be leading from home but will give you plenty of opportunity for your own personal reflection too. So let's bow our heads as we pray at the beginning of this day and commend ourselves and uh, the day to the Lord. Psalm 80 Give ear, O shepherd of Israel, you who leads Joseph like a flock. You who are enthroned upon the cherubim, shine forth before Ephraim and Benjamin and Manasseh. Stir up your might and come to save us. Restore us, O God, let your face shine that we may be saved. O Lord God of hosts, how long will you be angry with your people's prayers? You have fed them with the bread of tears and given them tears to drink in full measure. You make us the scorn of our neighbours. Our enemies laugh among themselves. Restore us, O God of hosts. Let your face shine that we may be saved. You brought a vine out of Egypt. You drove out the nations and planted it. You cleared the ground for it. It took deep root and filled the land. The mountains were covered with its shades, the mighty cedars with its branches. It sent out its branches to the sea and its shoots to the river. Why then have you broken down its walls, so that all who pass along the way pluck its fruit? The boar from the forest ravages it, and all that move in the field feed on it. Turn again, O God of hosts, look down from heaven and see. Have regard for this vine, the stock that your right hand planted. They have burned it with fire, they have cut it down. May they perish at the rebuke of your countenance. But let your hand be upon the one at your right hand, the one whom you made strong for yourself. Then we will never turn back from you. Give us life and we will call on your name. Restore us, O Lord God of hosts. Let your face shine, that we may be saved. Thanks be to God for his word. Let us pray. Almighty and ever-living God, in tender love for all our human race, you sent your Son, our Saviour Jesus Christ, to take our flesh and suffer death upon the cross. Grant that we may follow the example of his great humility and so share in the glory of his resurrection through Jesus Christ our Lord. Living God, we come with joy and awe to the cross where we are met by your love, persistent and profound. We praise you for the mixture of joy and sorrow we feel at this time. Joy for your love which gave your son to the world. Sorrow for our sin which nailed him to the cross. We praise you for the sorrow because it makes us conscious of our need. 
We praise you for the joy because it keeps our hope alive. Let the joy and sorrow combine in us today so that we may go into your world to diminish the sorrow and increase the joy, not only for ourselves, but for all humankind. May Almighty God forgive us, pardon and deliver us from all our sins, give us time to amend our lives, and give us the grace and comfort of the Holy Spirit through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Our Bible reading today is from Hebrews chapter 4, beginning to read at verse 14. Since then we have a great high priest who has passed through the heavens, Jesus the Son of God. Let us hold fast to our confession. For we do not have a high priest who is unable to sympathise with our weaknesses, but we have one who in every respect has been tested as we are, yet without sin. Let us therefore approach the throne of grace with boldness, so that we may receive mercy and find grace to help in time of need. Every high priest chosen from among mortals is put in charge of things pertaining to God on their behalf to offer gifts and sacrifices for sins. He is able to deal gently with the ignorant and wayward since he himself is subject to weakness and because of this he must offer sacrifice for his own sins as well as for those of the people. And one does not presume to take this honour but takes it only when called by God, just as Aaron was. So also, Christ did not glorify himself in becoming a high priest, but was appointed by the one who said to him, You are my son, today I have begotten you. As he says also in another place, You are a priest forever, according to the order of Melchizedek. In the days of his flesh, Jesus offered up prayers and supplications with loud cries and tears to the one who was able to save him from death and he was heard because of his reverent submission. Although he was a son, he learned obedience through what he suffered and having been made perfect, he became the source of eternal salvation for all who obey him, having been designated by God a high priest according to the order of Melchizedek. Thanks be to God for his word. I don't know if you've ever been given a task to do that you really don't want to do. Maybe at the end of a day you've suddenly realised that the person in your household who normally puts out the rubbish has gone to bed and you've got to do it. Or maybe you're uh, at work and the task that somebody else normally does has been has fallen to you and you've got to do it. And it's either brain numbingly simple, but there's just lots of it, or it's a really taxing task. But you do it because you've been asked to and because you want to do a good job. And you do it out of respect for your employer or in the case of at home out of respect for your loved ones the example of jesus that we read of today is that he offered himself out of reverent submission it's an interesting phrase reverent submission reverence means that one has a heart that's disposed to to love the other person, to love the other. And it does so out of an honouring of the other. And submission means putting your will or your desire, even your abilities, second. Reverent submission. And in the example of Jesus, we see a glimpse today of how we can live our lives before our God as we bring our prayers, as we bring the offering of all of our lives, reverent submission.
to the will of God. In such an attitude, our prayers are going to be heard. The Bible tells us that God opposes the proud, but gives grace to the humble. And as we think about what prayer ultimately is, and the life of sacrifice and service ultimately is, I'm reminded of the words of C.S. Lewis. And in these days when there have been lots of fake quotes flying around the internet, let me give you one that's absolutely true. C.S. Lewis wrote, Prayer doesn't just change God, it changes me. May we allow our response to his word and our prayerful response to change us so that we may live before him with reverent submission. Let us pray. As we come before the Lord now, let's begin by offering him the day ahead. And let's bring before him now those who are in need. Lord Jesus, shine upon all who are in the darkness of suffering or grief, and particularly those who have been affected by the COVID-19 coronavirus, that in your light they may receive hope and courage, in your mercy obtain relief and comfort, and in your presence find their rest and peace. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. O Lord Jesus Christ, you were unjustly taken prisoner and unjustly tried and condemned. We pray to you today for those men and women all over the world who are in prison for their faith. From one country to another, through their beliefs, have put them in conflict with their governments and their national authorities. You see the integrity of their souls, Lord, their courage and their loyalty, and we beg you, Lord, to preserve them in strength and purity. We pray for organisations who seek to help and support and raise awareness. We pray particularly today for the work of Open Doors. O Lord of compassion, Comfort those who are lonely and despair today, who feel they're forgotten. Comfort and help those who love them and must fend without them. And all, Lord, who have care of them, grant wisdom and kindness and that respect, Lord, for people who are different to us might shape our lives too. And that we might obey your commands to love our enemies. And to all of us, Lord, grant the light of your Holy Spirit that will lead us into all truth. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We share together in saying the Lord's Prayer in whatever form or language is common to us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. So to him who loves us, and has freed us from our sins by his blood, and has made us to be a kingdom and priests to serve his God and Father. To him be glory and power for ever and ever. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be upon us and remain with us, with those whom we love, and with God's people everywhere this day and for evermore. Amen. Thank you for joining me this morning. 
please stay well, please stay safe, look after yourselves, pray for one another and I look forward to seeing you through the rest of today and over the days ahead. Can I give you again one forward notice which is from next Monday these uh, live prayer events which will carry on at 9am and 9pm they will be uh, hosted by the Mount Pleasant Baptist Church Facebook page and so please if you haven't already popped over there just do that just like and subscribe and you'll receive notifications for when these services indeed do go live so if you would do that you can access them there or you can also access them through our church YouTube channel. May God bless you today and I'll see you later. God bless you. Goodbye.